Sports Boxing Media in association with Brixton Streetwear. Delighted to be joined with a massive boxing fan, a massive musician. Goes with him with Grimstickers. How are you, mate? No, fine, thank you very much, man. Thanks for a nice introduction. What do you make of the whole Wilder situation? Are you, are you a Wilder fan or do you think the excuse I'm, is there? I'm a Wilder fan because um, I've never seen a man execute a punch like he has in my life. Not his footwork or, or his boxing ability, but um, uh, just the, just the, just the uh, ability to get a man out of there. Uh, at 15 and a half stone, is, is, is very accomplishable, but he's lost his marbles, mate. Like, I've never seen so much excuses with some cheesy background music. I mean, where's, it, where's, where's the integrity? Why did they say, you know what, I lost to Tyson Fury, he was the better man, and get on with your day? I mean, he's embarrassing himself, man. Like, he's, his image is, like, completely tarnished for me. I still think, personally, he's the second best heavyweight in the world. I don't think no one can do that, apart from Tyson Fury to Welder. I think a lot, everyone, everyone I've seen out one bank out, so... What do, you, what do you make, I mean, for me, obviously, you know, boxing is littered with excuses over the years, but the only thing I sort of didn't like was, you know, what he said about Mark Breland, that he put muscle relaxer in his walk, that he was in with him. I mean, that's, that's a really tarnish, I think, to say to somebody who's got such a steep history in boxing himself. Former world champion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, mate, do you, know what it is? you can't take that Tyson Fury beating, mate. He, uh, a fellow Brit went over there, done him in his own uh, his own game. Like it's 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 nuts, mate. But yeah, man, it's, I've lost a lot of respect for him, man. Can you yeah. see the third fight happening, mate? Do you think? Can you see him fighting it again, or do you think he's done? I think, I think Shelly Finkel's got 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 some court, got some paperwork that we don't know about, fella. Because all of a sudden, <laughs> remember the fifth thing cancelled, and I heard Andy talking about. You second Joshua might not happen if Fury fights Wilder. So yeah, something's happening that we don't know. Show you think we'll pull something out of somewhere, isn't he? <laughs> Definitely. Um do you do you think do you think we're gonna see Fury AJ for all the belts, or do you think that WBO Uzik mandatory is gonna get in the way of everything for us? I think personally you said we'll fight well uh, Josh and then Wilder fight uh, Fury. I think at the back end of next year it'll be Fury versus Josh. Yeah, for all the belts. For all the belts. For all the belts. Because Yusek, if Yusek was bigger, he would beat Josh, but he's not big enough. And I don't think he punches hard enough as well. Do you, do you think Yusek can become a world title sort of holder at heavyweight, or do you think he's just that he's just a little bit too too small for the division? Yeah, only if only if Joshua vacates the WBO. I think Joshua will clean him up in about six rounds. A jump on him because Chisora was cut. Now, do you know what Yusef's got a chin? Yeah. But like, it's a pretty, it's pretty impressive against Chisora. And Chisora is no light banger. So, um, I just think he's too big, too strong for Yusef. Man, it's a shame if Yusef was like a bit bigger, a bit, bit taller, he'd be a problem up there, man. He'd be, he'd be up there, mate. What, what do you think of this new um, WBC weight division, this bridge your weight thing? What Do you think is it a bit silly or do you think uh, it's good yeah. for boxing? <laughs> I get it. I understand it. I mean, what's it, 200 to 224 pounds? Yeah. Yeah, mate, I get it. But at the same time, I think, um, I heard, that, when, when Dion Ewald said that he's not fighting for it, that, that should give you a clue, like, mate, let's this, 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 this scrap it before it even starts. The WBC are making bounce all over the gap. When, when the WBO and the WBA and the IBF don't, don't follow through, mate, it's a big, it's a big hint in it. Yeah. I mean, like you said, the WBC print the belt, I think, because it's a Monday tomorrow. There's so many of them floating about, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, um, do, do, do you think there's too many belts anyway? I mean, look at the WBA or the WBA regular, the Super, the Intercontinental, all these belts. Do you think there's just too many? Yeah, because I heard I, when, when they announced Conor Ben last night, he even had a belt. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the WBA Intercontinental or something like that. Like he was carrying around, bro. But I thought, bloody hell, bro. He's, he's not a champion now. It's all money, in it? It's just to give a fight a, a, a name. Uh, mm. about to, yeah. Is that Chris Eubank Jr. with his um, with his IBO uh, world title? That's a little bit thing as well, isn't it? Oh, mate, that that's that's a that's a mixed take. And do you know what? 
Chris Eubank, he, he, he jars me a little. I like him as a boxer. I think he's got great work ethic. But he he uh, he hasn't beat anyone for me yet. Not yeah, I mean, he, he, sort of, he sort of, James Decay was done and dusted, I think, by the time he fought him, wasn't he? Of course. So James Decay was so embarrassed about that. He hasn't said one word since. No, I know. He's, uh, I think he's, like, he's off He's off the planet at the moment, isn't he? I don't think I've seen him since. He beat um, lesser, more, like, he's beat more men than that, Chris Eubank, because he's got great names, like, you know what I mean, on, on, his, on his CV. And then when you get beat by Eubank, it's a bit shocked. But it proves to me, like, I always say this, bro, there's something with the British fighters. All right, that's a big thing. Oh. A, uh, sorry, my favorite is playing a nice tune. Um, with the <laughs> British fighters, I don't understand why we... Why we are uh, like Carl Brooks the other day against Crawford when we're 32 33, bro, which is around my age. I don't understand why, why we tire out, bro. Like, why, mm. why are the fighters and in America you got Pacquiao as a champion at 38 or 39 or 40? Why do we as Britsmen don't make it past 35? No, I mean, Golovkin is 39, I think, now at the moment, and he's still going strong, isn't he? I don't know, man. I feel like we don't make it past a certain age, man. And it's, I don't know what it is. Like the girl, like grows grows thirty years old. Brooke looked very tired the other day. Do, do you still fancy now, um, Khan and Brooke? Do you think that's going to happen now? Both fighters are sort of at that crossroads. Do you think we're going to finally see it, even though they've sort of passed it? I think it needs to happen, mate. I think it's, it's a payday for both of them. They both got nowhere to go. Um, I think Khan wins easy as well. Yeah, easy. bro. All right, how about this then? No one noticed this. Khan done better against Crawford than Brooklyn. How about that? Yeah, true. I mean, he went, he went I think, went yeah. like eight, eight rounds, is there or something? Uh, yeah, six or seven. But he got dropped, yeah? In the first yeah. round, Khan, and got back up. That punch, what Brook got hit with, he went across the ring. I thought Brook was doing the people's elbow, bro, the way he went against the ropes from the middle. But he was flying, bro. I don't understand Brook. Brooks never been hit like that, and I love Carl Brook. I'm a big Carl Brook fan, and I was, it was very sad to see him go out like that, man. Yeah, mate. Well, do you do you think the the problems with the eyes have had a massive impact on his career? I mean, he seems to be he seems to be dabbing at his eyes a lot. Does he do in fights still? He was like that all the time, wasn't he? I see him tapping his eye as well. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I like Carl Brook. Do you know what, mate? I'm 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 I'm, I'm holding my hands up. I thought Carl Brook was going to win last week. I, I had a sneaky suspicion as well, but I think, uh, yeah, I think we were both considerably wrong, weren't we? I uh, know, man. Crawford, is he pound for pound? I don't, I'm not too sure. I, my, I personally think Canelo is. But, um, hey, what about Canelo versus Smith? Oh, my God. I can't wait for that one, mate. Jeez. Do you think, I just can't believe um, Smith didn't know it was him until Canelo. I mean, Canelo was such a massive power in boxing. He literally decides who he's fighting, when he's fighting them, uh, when it's going to be. He, he, he decided I'm an Anson Smith and, yeah, I'm fighting Smith, even though he hasn't even really talked to him. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because I think, like, obviously Mexico, Mexico is a big boxing country, but he's like the golden face of Mexico. Isn't he? Yeah. And uh, I don't understand how someone could find a free, sign a 350 million deal and come out of it in three fights into it. <laughs> <laughs> Who can do that? I know. What do you do? You think it's a bit strange though that only four weeks notice for for Callum Smith? Do you think he's done that on purpose? Maybe. Do you know what I say about Canelo? I say if you you got to knock Canelo out for a draw. That's my yeah. famous <laughs> but I think he lost the first Golovkin fight. Yeah, uh, definitely. Of always got an advantage. Like if you if, if if you're in the hat against Canelo, the day you're in the hat, you got to start training. Yeah. And Smith. Him, but I mate, I don't think Smith goes far. I think he folds Smith with one body punch. I think because look at he, like obviously Smith's got a great left hook, short hook on him, yeah, and it's an amazing punch. But when you think of the hits that Canelo took off Golovkin, how the hell he, he don't even move an inch? Mm. I mean, both of them, the punches Golovkin and Canelo took in both fights, and um, they must have granite chins. I think it's a bit more than that. But yeah, it's tough. there must be something more than that. But <laughs> that Canelo and uh, there's a few fights I'm looking forward to. Of, of, uh, what's Canelo's geezer called? Um, he's fighting Luke Campbell again, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. To, uh, January the 2nd, right? Yeah. How do you think that's going to go? I think Luke Campbell gets battered, mate. 
Do you? I love you for saying that to me, but have you seen this guy's hands before? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he is, I don't know, I, I think maybe Luke might have too much. I mean, the, the thing is, Ryan Garcia, we don't really know, we haven't really seen much of him yet. So, I mean, he could be unbelievable, couldn't he? And he you know, I think if he does beat Luke, Luke Campbell, I think then he's announced himself on the world stage, then, isn't he? Oh, Luke Campbell's never won. Who's Luke Campbell's best win? How about that? Let's think about that for five seconds. Um, Mendy? <laughs> yeah, the rematch, I suppose, with Mendy, yeah. Yeah. Um, who did he beat in, in, in up in Hull, wasn't it? Oh, Tommy. Uh, was it Tommy Coyle? Did they fight? Tommy Coyle, yeah, Tommy Coyle. That's right, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think and Eddie Hearn likes to sort of um, like caught the Lomachenko fight when really he got sort of beat up quite, you know, in every round pretty much, didn't he? Like, I mean, yeah. he sort of come off the back that like it was a win when really it wasn't, was it? Like he done well, but he still got battered. Like he still nearly got knocked out. So. Um... I think Ryan Garcia Vatters, Luke, Luke Campbell's never beat, like, he's not, he's never beat anyone, and every time he has come up to it, he's got the same excuse as well when he loses as well, man, so. But he's, he's with Scott McGregor now, Shane McGregor, so. Yeah. He's a great trainer, so. Maybe, he might win, but I just think Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia's got more about him, he's younger, and he's like, he's just, he's trained with Canelo. It's just, I don't know, yeah, I, just, I just think Ryan Garcia beats him pretty good. Grim, obviously, thanks, thanks for your time today. We'll have to, yeah, we have to, we'll have to do this again sometime. We have to, I tell you what, we could jump back on next weekend after the boxing's finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a shot. I'm here for you, mate. Anytime. Okay. Right, yeah. Well, Grim, thanks very much for your time, mate. I'll speak to you soon. Take it easy, bro. Cool, 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 cool.